Hey, how's it going? Douglas James here. Thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch this video that I made for you specifically. So in this video, what am I going to be doing for you? I'm going to be showing you the opportunity that you have by using Google SEO and what is SEO search engine optimization? How can you scale a business using Google? All right. And I'm going to jump into get uh, showing you a guinea pig quote unquote, and show you an, a website that is not doing so well and the possibilities that it could be having if it invested into someone that knows SEO <laughs> pretty much. And what is SEO? We're going to get you higher in the Google rankings because 82% of your customers is going to Google and typing whatever company or niche you're in. They're typing house cleaning, uh, slow or uh, London, all right, or wherever you're located in the country doing business in any market. All right, and then I'm going to jump into you about Facebook advertising. Why should you market on Facebook, uh, and how can you scale your business with Facebook? All right, so let me just jump right into the video. So we're on applocal.com. You can visit us here for more information. All right, so as I understand, you know, you guys are getting into, you may be getting into the house cleaning business. So your customers are going to want to go to Google and type in house cleaning, just like anybody else. So according to Google, in uh, slow house cleaning is getting searched between 2000 to 2200 times per month every single month year round okay just in that one area at about a 10 mile radius or so uh, so as you can see we can have all the most profitable keywords that people are searching for on google so we want to get you ranked in all of these keywords all right so how do we get you there okay so Google has an algorithm it has 200 determining factors but I'm not going to talk to you about all 200 because we'll be sitting here for an hour for hours I'm going to talk to you about four of the most important ones all right um, once we nail these everything else kind of falls into place okay um, the first thing is let's pick a guinea pig let's pick on a website that is not doing so well okay so I chose to go with green cleaning service dot uh, co.uk okay and I am using a UK search engine for Google okay so this is local searches in Google alright um, these guys are ranked number eight so let me show you this chart alright so when you are ranked um, number one you control about 33 percent of all the clicks but when you're ranked number eight you maybe get three or four percent and as you can see page two you might as well be on page 20 because nobody's really clicking on that page okay so let me show you this guy, number eight, versus the guy that's ranked number one that's controlling all of the business. That's Gumtree. All right. So here's the guy that's ranked number eight. All right. Green Cleaning Services. He's getting almost no traffic to the website. All right. And here's another metric that we can use. Almost no traffic to the website. Two clicks a month. All right. Now here's Gumtree. Almost a million clicks per month. A million visitors every single month okay granted they're a bigger company they're probably do business in other cities but that is the potential market that you could be reaching by getting on Google for these profitable keywords and we have the information right here just how do we do it right so again I'm not going to talk to you about all that all all of it but I'm using these guys as a guinea pig all right uh, the first thing when we go to their website do they have what's called authoritative content? Are they mentioning all of these services, all of the keywords in an in abundance? Okay. So as you can see, these guys actually have quite a bit of content. But the problem is they are not mentioning all of these keywords. Okay. If you read through their website, it has almost nothing to do with most of the services that they're providing. They need to be mentioning house cleaning, slaw, slaw house cleaning um, and, and a whole bunch of stuff you want to have massive amounts of content on the page so these guys probably have about 1000 to 1500 words um, but it doesn't stop there you, you want to add this is a large market okay we're competing with really really big companies all right so we need to have a lot of content on the page and we need to be bolding out information that's relevant so every single keyword we mention we want to have it in bold kind of like they have here but they they have bolded window cleaning, end of tenancy cleaning. They need to be bolding 
house cleaning slaw, you know, uh, home cleaning slaw, best cleaners and slaw, all that stuff. Okay, they're only getting, they're not getting any visitors any month. Maybe one or two. That's it. All right. So what do I mean by authoritative content? If you go to Google and you type in elephant, Wikipedia always shows up number one because of the authoritative content. So look at this page. Endless information on elephants, their evolution, what they eat, everything. I love using this example because it's true. Look at all this content. This is what your page needs to look like. You need to have like this much information on your page if you're going to compete in a large market, especially house cleaning. Okay, because there's so many, so many competitors. But you can do it if you have the right process. So what I recommend is building a brand new site, all right, for you guys, if you don't have this, a brand new site with anywhere between 3,000 to 4,000 words and this using all this keyword research, building it with all these keywords in the home page. And that's just going to tell Google, hey, read, because Google reads content. And if you're going to rank for keywords, Google has to be able to read that content on your page. Also, photos like this need to be named correctly with SEO in mind, okay? So this is very important, all right? And then you wanna have your address in the footer, okay? I don't see any address here in the footer. Um, phone numbers, none of these phone numbers are clickable. This one's clickable, okay? Email in the top right corner, not clickable, okay? That's very important. Um, the next thing, your site has to be mobile friendly, which they are. This means, because 80% of your customers are actually going to be looking at your website through a mobile device, an, an, uh, an iPhone or some type of mobile cell phone device. Okay, so you, it has to be mobile friendly, which they are, so that's good. Um, the, fourth, the third thing is local citations. So whenever I come to the search engine, okay, let's go back to the search. Um, you see that these guys are actually ranked at the top of this search. And what's happening here, the problem here is they're only focusing on this one keyword. Okay, they're only listed as a local service for here. They're at the top of here, but they're not showing up in this map. You don't see them on this map above. Okay. Um, they're only focusing on this one keyword. If you search all the other keywords, okay, if I go to my Google Keyword Planner, I can see that house cleaning is only getting searched maybe 20 times a month, but there's cleaning services, there's house cleaning services, there's cleaning companies, home cleaning services, house cleaners, maid service, home cleaning, cleaning company, maid, the maids, clean house. There's all these keywords, and they're focusing on just the one. All right, so almost no one's clicking. Most people are going to click from here. There's about 40% of all the clicks, uh, actually more than that, are going to come from here. Then they're going to go to the local. All right, and you need to they're spread themselves thin. They need to be focusing on all of these keywords, okay? So you have to be at the top of the locals. That's important, but you want to be in multiple keywords too. All right, um, some examples to get there, you have to be listed in Google, uh, Yahoo, Bing, Yellow Pages, White Pages, Facebook, and all that stuff, and that's going to build your local citations. It's just online directories that tells Google, hey, I'm listed in all these directories. Um, take me more serious and give me higher rankings, okay? Uh, the last thing I'm going to talk to you about is uh, pretty much the power of your website. So. For these guys, you know, Facebook wants to know how, how popular are you online? You know, do people care about your website? What other websites are mentioning you online? And these are called, you get these through what's called backlinks. Okay, so right now, Green Clean has 10 websites mentioning them at 141 times, okay? Uh, which is okay, but look at their trust flow. This is the quality of their site, which is zero, all right? Now zero, let me show you this chart. This shows you the quality meter, okay? So at a zero, they're at the lowest quality. All, all the businesses on page one of Google are gonna have a 20 trust flow or high. If they're gonna be ranked number one, they're gonna be 20 or higher. And that's where you wanna be. That's the type of quality that you need to rank in your business. And that's the reason why they're ranked number eight on organic rankings, okay? All the way down here. All right. 
let me show you our website, amplocal.com, to give you an example. All right, so when I copy and paste this into here, okay, I copy and paste it into here, all right, and look at the trust flow of this site at 21 links, 250 backlinks, trust flow at 26. All right, so as you can see, All right. So as you can see, this is off the charts. It's way above 25. So that's the type of power that you need on your site. So let me show you an example. If you go to Google for United States and you type in San Diego SEO, all right, you find amp local right here at number three okay SEO is probably one of the biggest competitive niches in the world why because the people that really know how to do it are in the top three and we're in the top three for a three million population city okay so that's to give you an example of why links are so important okay so you want to have powerful links and that's where we're going to help you get there okay so that in a nutshell is SEO you know um, and how and how to get you there so getting a new site getting it mobile friendly getting co great content on there getting the citations and the links is going to build you a powerful site and get you in the position uh, to be where these guys are at getting 1 million visitors and slow in, in London and in that area. <gasps> excuse me in that area okay so now let me jump into Facebook advertising Okay, so you asked me to talk to you about how I can get you leads for um, maybe for house cleaning, right? And also for uh, teleprompt renting. Okay, so I went into Facebook and just targeted some of that just so I can see like what the market looks like. So I went to Slaw, England, 10 mile radius. Okay, I targeted people that have a little bit more, more money, 26 to 65 men and women. And I put a whole bunch of interest to people that would need to rent these teleprompters. Okay, I'm not going to go into all of the details with that. But as you can see, I have a t perfectly targeted campaign. Okay, and I could reach about 53,000 qualified people that are in the market for teleprompters. All right. So we can market to them and reach them just like I told you about. And we'll be able to generate leads for that. Let me show you for. Uh, house cleaning did the same thing slaw England 25 to 20 26 to 65 but I targeted people that own homes own lived in condos lived in a family-based home that rented homes people that would actually need that service I have a perfectly targeted campaign it's right in the center of green and I have hundred and sixty thousand people that I can reach all right so yes we can target people based off their interests demographics pages they like things they mentioned online and that's how we're gonna put ads in front of people so what does that ad look like? Let me give you an example. All right. All right. Here's an ad that we did for a carpet cleaning company. Okay. Um, so it pretty much, the, the ad's built to call out the local city, ask a question they're going to say yes to, put links to landing pages, get them, get their special offer, get their attention, and get them to click on the ad. Okay. Um, one thing that we really like to do I'll give you a better example is create ads like this where we're offering a special offer okay we ask a question that their answer yes to do you hate your do you love your car but you hate when it's dirty okay this is auto detailing okay they're gonna go out and clean people's cars and wash them and detail them we're giving away 50% off auto detailing packages 30 people this week treat your car truck and RV to a treatment in our auto spa uh, things of that nature and we click the call now that's the call to action okay 50% off so creating some type of special offer to bring people in your business and make them repeat customers is a great way to get business okay and it could be like a free trial it could be 25% off it could be something for free right then they click the ad all right and then they go to pages that look like this Okay, now this is for the carpet cleaning one, all right, but, you know, there's multiple ways we can do this, but pretty much what it says is, do you want your special offer, the 50% off carpet cleaning, sign up for the special Facebook offer, 11 coupons left, 
they click this and we get them to give our name, email, phone number to send the coupon. Okay. They'll get the coupon. Now you have their personal information. That's a lead that you can call to do business with. And then it goes to a page like this. Hey, due to the limit number of coupons, please call first call basis to get your, to get to offer. And also special offer bonus offer will give you an additional bonus offer if you call now. Okay. And this is how you generate inbound calls. And this is all has to do with psychology, the psychology of the Facebook user. And this is how we can generate more business for you, whether it be for house cleaning or for the teleprompter. All right. And the whole funnel will be custom built. I already targeted the audiences that I showed you. Um, but this will be your, your, uh, we can target, you know, custom campaigns as well, just like this. All right. So I really hope that makes sense. We can generate a lot of business. And uh, just to give you an example, you know, um, I have this pulled up. These are some metrics from one client that we're doing that we're, that's doing auto detailing and, you know, uh, auto accident repair, window tinting. He does all that cool stuff. Um, and you can see that this is our cost per lead. Okay, this is how many leads he's generated. And this is the cost per lead. So we have three campaigns that we tested. Uh, we're going to switch this one back on, I think, uh, this evening. But as you can see, we're getting a lead for $1.33. Okay, this one's for $3.78, and this one's for $1.78. All right, imagine having someone come into your business for a dollar. What if we can get you a lead for a dollar? Okay, that's huge. Let's say for $5. What if you can get someone's personal contact information for 5 bucks? And say you have a closing rate of 20%, which these guys have a closing rate of about 20%. Okay, I'm sure that would be incredibly, incredibly valuable to you. If you can get an actual closing for like 25 euro, let's put it in your money, 25 euros. Okay, for home cleaning for 300 euros. That's a, a huge ROI. Okay, same thing for teleprompter. Okay. So that's the type of business. Now, as far as how many leads I can get you and what the cost is per lead, like I told you, uh, the first two to four weeks, that is the golden time where we find out your numbers. You know, we run tests, we run campaigns and figure out exactly how much we're paying per campaign per lead and then tell you, hey, for 500 bucks, we were able to get you a lead for $2 or $3. Now it's time to go up to, let, let's spend $2,000 and scale your business that way. That's what you need to do. That's how we do it. We're not just going to jump, dump three, four, five thousands of dollars into a campaign, not knowing the metrics. We have to fill, figure out your metrics. Okay. Um, so that in a nutshell is SEO and Facebook advertising. All right. For teleprompters and house cleaning. So we can do it. It's, it's doable. I'm really looking forward to helping you. Um, you have my contact information. Please reach out. And I look forward to hearing from you. So thank you so much for watching and I'll be in touch. Bye-bye.